Echo Wars. Before we start, let's do a quick driving tutorial. Okay, now hold down the trigger to accelerate and reach the checkpoint. And once there, release the trigger. Release the trigger to stop the vehicle. Whoops. Remember, to stop the vehicle, you must release the trigger. Let's try again. Done. Now, let's try some curves. Let's see how you do. Release the trigger to stop the vehicle. Now watch out, there's a jump ahead. While in the air, you can still control the speed with the trigger and the direction of the flight with the steering wheel. Let's see if you can get to the next checkpoint. Release the trigger to stop the vehicle! Wow, that was intense! It's time to practice the fine art of shooting with one hand while driving with the other. That's what Echo Ride always does. Are you ready? Cyborg's doing today. Last, right? Huh? Uh, who? Oh, I... Megan? Is that you? Oh, Megan. My clone brother and I had another one of those synchronized dreams again. It is a beautiful morning today. There's a sun alignment and ultraviolet radiation levels are at their highest. The last time we were in a binary star system was when we were assigned a mission to planet Argus 2.1. Have you ever been to Planet Argus 2.1, Megan? Who? Me? Oh, no. I'm just an engineer who has never left the system. This is my whole life, taking care of war veterans. You two, on the other hand, were able to travel the entire universe when you were Empire officers. Special Operations Officers. Planet Argus 2.1 is one of the most dangerous and inhospitable places we've ever been. Are you going to tell me another one of your war stories, Mr. Rye? Oh, please! Can't you just shut him up, Megan? Turn down his volume or turn off my ears? Will you stop interrupting me? She wants to hear a good story, okay? Now, where was I? Ah, you see, my dear, a long time ago, in a galaxy eh, not too far away,
Ah, yes. Planet Argus 2.1 was one of our first missions. I remember we arrived in the middle of an acid rainstorm. Well, it looks like a few drops to me. Oh, no, no, no. It was a hell of a storm. Ah, I understand. I can still see those majestic skyscrapers. A mega city in full swing. So you fought in the planet's capital? Well, it was more like the outskirts. One of those access highways, you know. We were sent there to eliminate a terrorist group that was terrorizing the population. Because that's what terrorists do. They terrorize. Am I right? Wow. So they sent a whole battalion of soldiers just for you two? Soldiers? <laughs> Who said anything about soldiers? Would you please pay attention to what we're saying? Terrorists had a deadly surprise for us. A bestiosaur the size of... A very bad-tempered chihuahua. Uh, it doesn't seem very... What? It was a huge monster! It was huge! Colossal! Bigger than a fashion influencer's ego! Without wasting a second, we jumped into our combat buggy to hunt down that monstrosity. Yee-haw! Ha! Good old memories, brother! were cornering us, but I killed them all! Hit them hard, compadre! right behind the bestiosaur when suddenly I had a revelation. I was carrying a bestiosaur whistle. It worked. Now I had to take a good aim at its only weak point. found out that the monster was the last specimen of its kind. And from that day on, we were known throughout the galaxy as the Extinguishizers. You mean the Extinguishers? Right, that's what I said. Didn't I? <laughs> 